Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Canva for beginners. So, Canva is a free to use online graphic design software that you can use to create your own posters, videos, and all that. So, I easily created this using just some simple trick. So, this is basically a very big flyer, and you can even animate this. If you want to animate this, you can equally do that. So, if I select this, you can see I can animate this particular flyer, and then you can even download it. In the video format so there's option over here to download so when you go to download you can download this as a mp4 and then you can send this video in just a second so there are several templates that you can use here you can use this if you want to design some coming soon page you can easily do this if you want to change the background color you can equally go ahead and then change the background color for your design and i'm going to walk you through how to use canva for beginning i'm going to take you through everything step by step with no step skip now in order to use canva you need to go to canva.com and then this is a site it's basically free to use and i believe there's a pro version but the free should be enough for you to do whatever you want to do. but remember to subscribe if today's your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my future videos also comment at the comment section and let me know if you subscribe let's get interactive now if you go to canvas you need to first need to sign up if you sign up you're going to have access to this platform and there are several things i'm going to explain over here there are several categories and then the first part i'm going to talk about is the main menu okay so the main menu at the top have the first menu called the design spotlight they keep doing updates so probably if you are watching this maybe a few months after this video you may not have the same alignment so if you go to spotlight you have the visual document we have the photo and videos we have for print and we have market so on the visual document you can create web suits you can create document presentation whiteboards pdf editor we can do videos as well video editing youtube video editor there's a lot we keep doing updates and we also have the business aspects where we can use some use cases to do pictures industry department and the educational aspect and the pricing part the most important thing is that you can do a lot with the free version so that should be enough for you the pro version basically if you are an individual you have uh, a very large company and you want to use unlimited resources then you want to go for the pro version we also have the team if you want to work as a team you can design here and then share content together so over here on this platform you can do a lot we have the categories over there there are some recommended categories you have the whiteboard there are templates that you can follow and do your design if you want to do some presentation you can do that over here we have the videos instagram posts we have some posters we have logos and i'll be doing a video on how to create logo with canva very soon we have the logo we have the facebook post animated social media invitation card document facebook covers and a lot we have the instagram and then so you'll be able to do a lot over here. so stick through this video and then i'm going to show you how to do this step by step so these unlimited resources that you can use to do your design now if you come to the left hand side for this canva if you log on to your page we also have some access to some tools. so we have the project so if you work on any project it should be available within this particular tool so i'm going to design and all my projects will be coming right here and we also have the template aspects which will be using a lot we have the brand app it's only available to the pro version so if you want to use this then you have to upgrade but like i said the free version should be enough for you up to the template and what we're doing is going to mostly going to be templates so this is where we're we'll doing our design now if you click on design it's going to take you to this page so before that let me close this just to demonstrate that to you now if you log in now if you log in and you want to use any of this template you can select that straight forward and use or you can go to create a design and then over here you can see there are a lot you can pick from we have logos we have social media we are resuming instagram stories if all the design and all that so you can just indicate we have the youtube thumbnails so i'm going to be walking through this youtube thumbnail will be in another video how to design youtube thumbnail with canva so alert stay alert subscribe for future videos on canva i'll be doing a series of videos on that so for now let's just pick let's say a poster for now and it's going to open this in a new tab so we just have to wait for this to so this is our design tab this is where we're going to do all our designing and everything we want to do with canva this is where we're going to do that so let's focus here now now we have the designer space so when you click on design we have the left hand side that's our extra menu over here 
and I'm going to talk about just a few of them. So if you come to the design tab, it's going to give you a lot of templates that you can pick from. So you can see there's a lot of resources. If you want to design a birthday flyer for somebody, you can just pick a lot of resources and then just modify them. So if you want to use any of these templates, let's say I want to use this, I can just click on that. You can see it's going to appear here on my template. So you ask yourself, how do you change the image right there? You want to change this image very very easy so this is just like a placeholder if i select this if i select this and probably i want to delete this i can just delete it so i can see there's option over here that i can replace this with all my own image so i can just go ahead if you come to your left hand side is option to upload so if you click on this upload for instance there's option you can add your own image videos and audios so I've already added some image over there, but if you don't know how to do that, you can just go to your image, just drag it and then just drop it right there. So I can just drag this and then drop this image and it's going to upload this image. So once this image is uploaded, this is just like this one. Once this is selected, I can just drop it here and it's going to fit in. So within the seconds or just some few minutes, I've been able to what design a baby flyer for somebody. You ask yourself, how do you download this and then share on your social media platform? You can go to share if you're working as a team you can share this but if you want to download this you need to first go to share and then there's option to download you can see you have to share on social but we want to download this so click on this and then this is basically a picture so it's suggesting png you can download this as effect you can also download pdf standard we have the prints the svg is basically for premium version so if you're using the pro version then you have access to this we have the key file animated for an mp4 we'll do some videos and then we'll download that as well so let's just stick to the png and then we can download this so you're going to just take some short time to download this onto my pc and i'm going to open this for you to see then before that we'll try and design something from scratch as well so you can see perfectly within just a twinkle of an eye i've been able to design a birthday flyer using canva there's a lot of videos so let's jump into the rest now if you go back to your design there are several templates that are, i'm talking about you have the business template like this you can see you can just modify this change these pictures and everything to your use we have this is basically a pro version you can see it contains some watermark basically some of this image contains some watermark which is a pro version and we have some others to use i think you can basically modify this and use there's no watermark image there, so you can basically modify this and if you scroll down there's a lot basically there are categories of this you have the recent use ones that are going to be displayed over here for food so we are in the easter period so if you want to design something for easter i can just click on this and it will give me template related to that so you can see i can just select this this is basically a pro version this is a pro version so if i want to use this then say try for free you have 30 days trial version if you want to use canva but i'm using a free version for now so if I want to use something, then maybe you can see if you hover over it, then there's a crown that means it's a pro version. But we can go ahead and select something which is basically free. So, like I said, you get a free version to use, and you can actually go ahead and start modifying whatever you have. If you want to add text over here, you can do that. So, the brand hub is only available to premium version, the brand hub. So, we have the design, and then we have the elements. Mostly, if you want to add other tools, let's say I want to add some arrows and things to in design then i have to follow on elements so you have the lines you have arrow you have circles so you can scroll down and have a lot you can add to your design so we have the frame so if you want to add some frame and then add an image then you can actually do that so if i drag this onto my design here or let me just position it here so meaning this is basically like a placeholder i can add image within this remember i've loaded remember i've uploaded some images over here so you can drag this into it and then you can see this has been placed inside straightforward so we have the frame that we use i can delete this or you can just come in and just delete it okay you can delete the image leaving the frame or just delete all so you can select this you select this there's a background color here once you select the background you can go ahead and then change the colors so you can switch this color to something else you can play around this so text and everything if you select the text this my text you can change the font to a different font so there are different fonts over here that you can pick and then use there are some premium one but there are some free version as well you can use now what you're going to do is that once you have your design let me just change this color this color is really the best so let me pick something like this 
so once you have your designs you can add several pages over here so our pages so add extra page so you can see you have a page here i have another page here as well so what is going to happen is that if i want to add element to this this page i can select this page and then we change the color so let's say i want to change the color to white i can pick white from here and i can go to elements and once i do that there are several things i can do let's say i want to design something from scratch myself then i can start picking some resources from here so let's say this is a baby design i want to do on my own without relying on a template then i can start picking some element from here this is basically a baby image i want to use so i can put this right here and i can also go ahead and then look for frame so you can start typing and type a frame from here and it's going to give you a list of frames you can use for your design so you can just go through or you can just click on all and it's going to give you the list of the frame you can use within your design so we have mobile phones and other things and i'm just going to pick one so we just pick one of this and then drag it here the minute you do that you can resize this you can resize this perfectly and once that is done you can go in and upload your image so i'm just going to follow on this you can drag your image and then drop it here so if i drag it you can see you can actually reposition your image within okay you can actually reposition your image within that you can resize this as well together you can resize it. so there's a lot we'll be doing right here you can add pages you can click on this and add pages now what about if i want to animate this okay you can animate anything over here so if i select this you can have the animated option so i can click over here and then when i select any of this animation it's going to animate whatever i have on my screen so there are basically the free version to use okay. free version to use so i can just pick any of this animation so once you pick any animated version and you want to download this it's going to indicate that this is going to be in mp4 so if i go here because i have animated version on on this it's going to give me option so if you want to download this page but just uncheck the rest of my pages let me just uncheck so let's say i want to download only the second page and i click on done the best option for me because this is animated i have to select what mp4 so i have to select it because it contains video so i can play this so if i click on download it's going to take some time to download this onto my pc for me and you will see if i play this it's probably going to be animated i'm going to show you the sample of what i did earlier on you can use some design templates to do that okay, so my design is almost set so i'll just open this for you to see you can see this is an animated this is a short animation over here now what we're going to do is that we'll go back to our design basically this is where we have our template so if you want to customize any baby design so you don't really need any skills to do this so i want to create a baby design and maybe i have no idea maybe some destination flyers and all that i can pick any of this so if i select this if i select this you can see i already have my template and i can start modifying it you can change this image this image is basically placeholder you can edit photo when you click on this for instance click on this photo you can actually edit this as well now let's assume we've downloaded our own image and you want to use it to modify what we have over here i'm going to show you how we can actually do those things so we have to first upload the photos that we want to use to basically change this image you can just click over there go to upload and then if you want to pick any of travel images you can just go on your pc and then select that so i'm just going to pick some random images for now i'm just going to pick some random images at least for the purpose of this design it could not be for travel but i'm just going to use it to demonstrate what i'm actually want to do so i can just go ahead and then just drop this here and it's going to fit that perfect so these are placeholders that you can get from your elements over here as well we can change everything from here so we can just select and then just drop our own images to just modify this and you can select the text here and then also modify it just double click over there and then you can type the amounts 
amount you want to basically use okay if you want to add your own text there's option here that you can add text so the text can be for your main header so if i click over here you can see i have my header here. so let's say travel so i can have my text over here and then you can hold this text and then reposition it wherever you want you can use this and then resize this and the fonts are available to use you can change the font to any font you prefer to use you can also change the color if you want to so you can see over your text color you can change this text color to whatever color you prefer so i can pick this I can pick this color and just highlight and then pick a color from here okay so you can see my text color we also have effect there's a lot of effects over here you can pick from so there's a lot you can do from here you can adjust the offset of this text you can also indicate the direction of your offset the transparency and any other thing you have the splice the, the holo and all those things. so there's a lot you can do with this amazing tool you can do a lot you can create everything from scratch and if i come here we have the text effect we have the blue text effect if you want to use this you can actually use this for your design as well so i can just drop this blue text here and then when i select my background i want to give a different color to the background i can go ahead and then actually pick background color for this design you can see i modify this background and by picking my own color we also have photo colors and all those things so it all depends on what you want to use for your designs just go ahead and then play with that so i just want to go with just the color that will fit what i'm doing so you can keep adding more pages as you want to and then you can even download this in pdf format and we also have position assuming i want to place some image on this if i go ahead and place another image here let's assume i just drop image here i drop image here and i want this image to come on top of this on top of my text you can see we have the position over here so if you click on the position you can just click on forward and then you can bring this image in front of this text so you can do a lot basically with this you can do a lot with this amazing canva and you can use adjustment the alignment and then the position and all that so if you select the text it's going to give you all the alignment option text underline if you want to underline your text you can see i can do that and then the elements you have a lot use for the free version so you have the categories and then you have to select whatever you want okay if you want to use any of this this animated arrow if you want to create animated icon for my social media handle i can do this and i can use it to create that's the gif graphic internet informant so i can pick something like this and then just position it so when i'm downloading this then i have to download this as graphic in that change format so if i go to share and i go to download for restaurants if i want to download this page that's the fourth page then i need to select this option if i want it to be a gif so you can use it to do like a short thing okay so we can do anything at all we want to do here and you can select whatever you want to do so the template are there you can just try your hands on this and then try creating your own flyers using this ability it's not difficult to use let me know at the comment section if you face any challenge i'll be there to support you thank you so much for watching this short tutorial there's a lot i'll be doing on canvas you need to be updated on that video tutorial so till i come your way remember to subscribe like for more bye bye